Rome is so big that it can overwhelm, so even the most devoted sightseer should take some time to kick back and enjoy La Dolce Vita in a park or sidewalk, Cafe will be able to choose the best places to visit with this video of the top attractions in Rome. A city so filled with icons of antiquity and the Christian faith, it's hard to know where to go first. Of course, your own interests will govern your choices, but there are certain sites that are almost obligatory landmarks of Italy and top attractions in the world, such as the Colosseum and the Pantheon. A word of caution, try to vary your experiences as you explore Rome so that you don't visit too many ancient sites or churches in a row. And intersperse these more serious attractions with a few that are simply tourist icons, the Spanish Steps and that place all tourists must go to toss in their coin, the Trevi Fountain. If you are new to this channel, subscribe the channel please before you get into video so that you can get our new video notifications. 1. The Colosseum and the Arch of Constantine as the Eiffel Tower is to Paris. The silhouette of the Flavian Amphitheater is to Rome. The largest structure left to us by Roman antiquity, the Colosseum still provides the model for sports arenas present day. Football stadium design is clearly based on this oval Roman plan. The building was begun by Vespasian in a D-72, and after his son Titus enlarged it by adding the fourth story. It was inaugurated in the year AD 80 with a series of splendid games. The Colosseum was large enough for theatrical performances, festivals, circuses, or games, which the imperial court and high officials watched from the lowest level, aristocratic Roman families on the second, the populace on the third and fourth. 2. Vatican City The Vatican is the smallest independent state in the world. With an area of less than half a square kilometer, most of it enclosed by the Vatican walls. Inside are the Vatican Palace and Gardens, St. Peter's Basilica, and St. Peter's Square, an area ruled by the Pope, supreme head of the Roman Catholic Church. This compact space offers a lot of things to see, between its museums and the Great Basilica itself. St. Peter's Basilica is Michelangelo's masterpiece, Pieta, along with statuary and altars by Bernini and others. The unquestioned highlight of the Vatican Museums is the Sistine Chapel, whose magnificent frescoed ceiling is Michelangelo's most famous work. The collections you can see in these cover everything from papal coaches to 20th century art reflecting religious themes. 3. This is despite the fact that Pope Gregory III removed the gilded bronze roof tiles and Pope Urban VIII ordered its bronze roof stripped and melted down to cast the canopy over the altar in St. Peter's and canons for Castel Sant'Angelo. The Pantheon was rebuilt after damage by fire in AD 80, and the resulting brickwork shows the extraordinarily high technical mastery of Roman builders. Its 43-meter dome, the supreme achievement of Roman interior architecture, hangs suspended without visible supports, these are well hidden inside the walls and its 9-meter central opening is the building's only light source. 4. Roman Forum Walking through the Forum, now in the middle of a throbbing modern city center of Roman life and government shows only a small fraction of its original splendor, the standing and fallen columns, its triumphal arches and remains of its walls still impress, especially when you consider that for centuries the history of the Forum was the history of the Roman Empire and of the Western world. Roman political and religious life was centered here, along with the courts, markets and meeting places. After the 7th century, the buildings fell into ruin, and churches and fortresses were built amid the ancient remains. Its stones were quarried for other buildings and it was not until the 18th and 19th centuries that systematic excavations brought the ancient buildings to light from under a 10-meter layer of earth and rubble. 5. Trevi Fountain Own of the city's most popular tourist attractions. This 17th-century masterpiece has been immortalized in films until it is almost a required visit. Throwing a coin into the Trevi Fountain is a tradition that is supposed to assure your return to Rome. Rome's largest fountain, Fontana di Trevi, is supplied by an aqueduct originally constructed by Agrippa, the great art patron of the 1st century BC, to bring water to his baths. The fountain was created for Pope Clement XII between 1732 and 1751 by Niccolo Salvi and built against the rear wall of the palace of the Dukes of Pauli. The water swirls around the figures and the artificial rocks and collects in a large basin, always filled with coins. Six. The Torrio Emanuel II Monument, 
It's ironic that this grandiose monument, considered one of the national symbols of Italy, is rarely admired by Romans, who liken it to a wedding cake or a giant typewriter. Like it or not, the vast neoclassical structure crowns Capitoline Hill, symbolic center of ancient Rome, overlooking the later city across Piazza Venezia. Built between 1885 and 1935, it is a monument to King Vittorio Emmanuel, III, the first king of the unified Italy, represented here in an equestrian statue. Ali's The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is here, along with a museum of the Italian unification. A lift will take you to the topmost terrace for 360-degree views of Rome. 7. Castel Sant'Angelo National Museum begun in AD 135 as a mausoleum for the Emperor Hadrian and his family, Castel Sant'Angelo is a massive drum-shaped structure, overlooking the Tiber near the Vatican. Over the millennia of its existence, Castel Sant'Angelo has been used as a papal residence and a fortress, and more recently as a national museum. In AD 271, Emperor Aurelian took advantage of its position guarding the northern approaches to the city and incorporated it into his new system of walls surrounding the city. As a bastion, it protected the city from barbarian attacks, and by the Middle Ages had become a substantial fortress.